Hello guys, we are back. We are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, guys, um, I don't know where to start, but let me begin from somewhere, just as you have seen on your screen. Uh, there is a lot of reaction concerning this uh, visit. I'm talking about the visit of um, uh, the UK high commission and some high delegate okay i'm talking about you can see the woman we all know the woman katarina liang with tinibu in the apc campaign office that was as at yesterday now the question is will this affect the chances of other candidates most especially um peter or be atiko abubaka or so i really don't know but um let us notice something whenever this lady comes um to visit uh, prominent people in Nigeria, you should notice that she is always visiting people from the north. Yes. And uh, many people believe that UK, of course, it is not a belief that these guys are part of Nigeria, not only Nigeria, Africa's problem. Ever wonder why um, any little thing uh, that happens in Nigeria, a lot of us, in short, there is Abuja House um, in UK. Yeah, we all know that. So will this visit has any effect or the chances to affect uh, Peter Obi movement? Personally, for me, I would say no. Because if election should count, let us forget about this um, high delegate uh, visit or whatsoever. This shouldn't be an intimidation for me. I mean, people will believe because uh, Tinibu um, received uh, Mrs. Liang or whatsoever, okay, that that is a um, chance or should UK decide what goes on in Nigeria? That is the question we should be asking. I remember when the Malami was um, at the General of Federation, yeah, Malami was complaining about the funds uh, people in diaspora uh, will contribute, that it is against Nigeria or electoral law, people to contribute funds for Peter Obi. I mean, what is the fear? But in 2015, APC in UK um, opened a GoFundMe account to fund the campaign office of, um, I think, Buari, yes. That was 2015. Now it has uh, come to Peter Obi. It is now against the electoral law. All right, um, I have a lot of um, reaction here from people. And also let me um, know what you think about this. Uh, someone said that uh, make UK High Commission come vote on election day, of course, because it is a PVC. Nigeria should decide what happened. That was what uh, Balami said, that Nigeria is a sovereign nation, so another country or other people in diaspora should not decide what happened in Nigeria. That is what they have been saying. Now, what is this visit all about? I mean, high delegate visit from the UK, what is it all about? And no one is talking about this. Other people, Malami, they are not talking, they are not complaining. What are they discussing is the question we should be asking. Because anytime I see this woman uh, visiting Nigeria whatsoever, I don't know if she lives in Nigeria anyway, but she always have meetings with high profile um, uh, politicians in the north. I haven't seen this woman coming down south, uh, down south having meeting with prominent politicians from the South. Why is that so? That is my uh, observation. I quickly want to, you know, give you the reaction of people. So another person here said, um, Bola Metinibu has locked the three major countries when it comes to election in Africa, UK, France, and USA. I mean, this is what we should be talking about. Why would these guys detect for Nigeria? Why? I remember what happened in the, one of these African countries. It, um, when they had a cube, um, Ethiopia, I've forgotten the African country of recent, and they had to send all these high commissions away because they are the ones detecting, deciding what goes on in their country. Now, what is this visit all about? So another person here said, my very soon president, I love you, Jare, senior and senior. Okay, so that is what people believe because uh, Tinibu is visiting or having or receiving this woman uh, in APC campaign office. That shouldn't be a pass for him. 
like seriously this is my own observation why is this woman always visiting people prominent politician in the north so you now see the reason why these people believe that they own nigeria uk people keep saying it that they are the problem not only in nigeria but in africa all right but however let me know what you guys think i quickly want to update you on this uh, see you in another update